All right, so before I even start telling this story, I want to say a disclaimer, okay? Because I know people from my high school are going to see this, and the person who this involves is going to see this as well. I have no beef with nobody at this point. I don't care about that situation at all, and I'm just telling it for jokes, okay? Because it was funny as hell when you look back at it. So, you know, if you're going to be mad about this video, don't be mad, okay? Because it's in the past, guys, okay? It's in the past. Just have a good laugh, okay? And listen to how ridiculous you sounded. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Like, my eye has been watering all freaking day, and it's driving me nuts. It hasn't even been watering all day. It's just when I decided to do my makeup, now I want to water. Okay, so... <laughs> This story time, like, there's so much backstory to it, so I'm not gonna try to make this too long, especially because I ain't got that much storage on my phone. But anyway, let's just hop into it. So, um, around senior year, like towards the end, I started dating this boy that had a crush on me pretty much all through high school. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I played his little heart, okay? I can't lie. And I don't know why, like, I mean. At first, I'm going to admit, I wasn't really attracted to him just because he wasn't my type. Like, he was too short for me. But um, we hung out a lot because we started doing, like, uh, extracurricular activities together. And he was, like, the one other black boy in our grade that wasn't an idiot. So, yeah, we kind of he kind of grew on me. But it wasn't to the point where I wanted to be his girlfriend. And most of it was because of his height, which I know is really shallow. But <laughs> I just couldn't get over it, okay? <laughs> So, you know, throughout that time, we, I, you know, kissed him. Like, I gave him a pet kiss, and then he got, like, upset because after that, he thought we were going to date, and I still didn't want to date him. So, yeah, I was playing his little heart. I'm not going to lie. So, you know, like, it was just a whole bunch of back and forth like that. We were on and off all the time. Never really officially boyfriend and girlfriend, but as far as, like, being friends and being cool with each other, we were always on and off. So, when they got to senior year, I guess he got fed up with my foolishness. <laughs> As I'm sure I would too. I mean, you know, I can't even blame him. So he got fed up with my foolishness and we stopped talking for like pretty much the whole entire year. And when I tell you guys, like every, it was so serious and that, our school is kind of small. So like drama and worried about things like that travels real fast. But when I tell you, I didn't even think that people would care about it that much. But when I tell you, like even the teachers were asking what happened between me and him. Let me, let me give him a name. I have to think of a name. We're gonna call him Party Next Door because I remember somebody commenting on his picture saying that he looked like Party Next Door and I'm like, damn, he low key do. <laughs> PND, we're gonna call him PND. So, PND. Um, damn, what part was I on? Um, so, when it got to around senior year, PND decided he was done with my foolishness. So, it got to the point where, like, yeah, our teachers were even asking me what's going on between you and Party Next Door because y'all aren't talking like you guys were the best of friends and you know i wouldn't say we were best friends but we did like when we had classes together we would be cutting up him i and our other friends would be cutting up in that class i'm sorry i keep brushing my face but it's like the my eyes keep watering and it's driving me crazy <laughs> yeah, and then you know me I, I just live for drama and tension so i was low-key living in it like it was crazy because you know when that time came like i would see i would see him and i was just like damn he do look kind of cute now but in the minute if i would start talking to him again then i wouldn't be that into him so when this was happening i was just kind of like damn he is kind of cute and of course i know he was saying it to me about me too because i mean hello <laughs> i'm kidding guys I'm, I'm not that cocky like when we would have class together the tension was just so crazy and like it was just so funny and we'd be mad shady to each other like i remember one time we had a, um i had a bag of cheetos or something or a bag of takis and i was letting people have some and then um one of his friends had asked me for some and then i i left and i come back and i see him with some takis and i'm just like i know this boy did not eat my damn takis but it turns out he just got it from somebody else so <laughs> but it was just like a whole bunch of dumb crap like and then of course his little friends that were in um a different program like uh, a different art program i went to art school guys so um those are the, those who don't know me know i haven't don't know that i went to art school so like stuff like this it was just it was crazy it was ridiculous like <laughs> i wish y'all could have went to my high school if y'all want me to do story times about you know just like the dash experience in general i'm definitely gonna do that because it was an experience 
So, you know, time moves on and we all go on this senior trip, right? And um, we went to, on a senior trip to Bush Gardens, I think it was. No, it was um, Universal Studios. It was like Grad Bash. Um, if you're from Florida, you know what that is. I think they have Grad Bashes in other states, but most of the Florida students go to, you know, Grad Bash in Orlando. So we go to Grad Bash and we have a lot of the same friends. So we kind of sat in the same section on the bus, but he sat in a... Um, Oh wait, I'm lying. He sat right behind me next to my friend Carmen. <laughs> but yeah, so she um he sat next to my friend Carmen and that was the seat right behind me. And I it was me and then um who I don't even remember who was sitting next to me, to be honest. Or did I have the seat to myself? That's irrelevant anyway. But just know he sat behind me with my friend Carmen. And I'm just like <laughs> You are so petty. Like, what? And then all through the trip, like, obviously he wasn't talking to me at all. And I wasn't talking to him at all. Like, I would just act like he wasn't there. But I would be talking to Carmen while he's sitting right next to her. But then, um, yeah. And then I feel like he was doing it on purpose, which I know he was because he's just that type of person. <laughs> he was, um, like, like snuggling up to her and stuff. And, like, they were sharing a blanket. And it wasn't like that at all, I know. But I know he was doing it to, like, try to irk me. But I was like, boy, I do not give a crap, okay? <laughs> so we get to the um trip, and we're all standing in line with each other. And um his little stupid peanut gallery friends and me and my friends. And I'm just, like, trying to act like I don't give a crap. I mean, I don't give a crap, but I do give a crap. Like, you, you know what it is. So, anyways... So, um, after that trip, um, what happened after that trip? So, after that trip, we come back and some of, um, our friends were, found it so funny that he was sitting behind me and, um, he fell asleep and they took a picture of him sleeping while you could see me in front of them and they were just like, oh, parties dreaming about Kayla or whatever, right? And I was just like, y'all are freaking ridiculous. So, we're in a group chat talking about it and, of course, prom was coming up because after grad bash is prom. So, um... I was like, y'all, it should be so funny if I were to ask him to prom. And I was joking. I was joking, like, all the way. But, of course, all everybody just loves to, you know, stir the pot. So, they were just like, yeah, oh, my God, do it. You should do it. You should do it. And, like, make, like, a big scene, like, how in, um, like, when people do the whole, like, big prom scene thing, you know. But I wasn't going to do that. And then, at first, I was just like, oh, hell no. Because I don't even know if he's still into me, like, at this point. Because, um... Up until that point, we literally did not talk the whole school year. Like, when I tell you all, the whole school year, I mean the whole school year, okay? <laughs> so, uh, I was just like, no, I am not about to do that. And then, um, but they kind of convinced me because I was like, damn, it would be kind of funny if we, if I asked him to go. And, like, just the type of person I am, I knew it wasn't even that serious that we weren't talking. But, and even if it was, I low-key didn't care because I'm just... Sometimes I just don't care, like, you know, you know. <laughs> but I was just like, if I do it, somebody has to ask him and see if he already has somebody. Because I'm not about to make a fool out of myself and ask him and he's going with somebody. My good sis Carmen, I think it was her, it was either her or my other friend that was, um, one of his friends too that asked him to see like what's up with him and prom and i think he said that he wasn't going with anybody but he wasn't really thinking about going with me obviously because of the little situation you know if i'm wrong partying you see this you know sorry i don't remember exactly what you said in that part but who cares <laughs> so um yeah, like, we were going over this, like, I was, mu like, mulling over this for days, like, should I do it, should I, like, how should I do it, if I'm going to do it, like, is it even worth trying, like, you know, X, Y, Z, but then eventually, um, I feel like I'm leaving out a lot, of, a lot of details, because honestly, this stuff is not even, like, the big, like, hoopla that came out of it, but, um, eventually, we decided that, yeah, okay, we're gonna go to prom together, and we decided that, we're gonna make it official this one time and become boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, we decided we're gonna become boyfriend and girlfriend. And of course it was, I mean, it wasn't awkward because we had been friends like all of high school and we just went through all this foolishness like on and off pretty much the whole four years. So it wasn't awkward or anything. And you know, like beside, even though at first I wasn't liking him in that way, I do, I did care for him. I did, you know, like, not want to hurt his feelings to a certain extent but you know things happen 
So, um, yeah, we started dating. And, of course, the whole school is, like, not the whole school, but, you know, our grade level is just like, oh, my God, Kayla and party, Kayla and party, y'all are so cute. And Carmen's stupid. Carmen, like some of my other friends, just egging us on, and like every time we would be together, people would just be, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and it's like, so you guys are going to prom together, blah 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 blah, this that the other. I'm just like, y'all are embarrassing. Like it's really not that serious, okay? So we go to prom. Prom was awesome, okay? I should show y'all my prom dress. I look good as I don't know what, okay? I got me a forty dollar fashion over dress with two slits in the front. It was like a plunging V neck. And this was around the time, like, when I first cut my hair. So, of course, I was looking like, you know, a bad little Tony Braxton or something. <laughs> and, you know, prom was popping. And then the after party was uh, shit. But, you know, no shade, no tea. Oh, shit. The party was shit. But, um, yeah. And he was getting drunk and stuff. And <laughs> my mom picked us up. And I had to, like, pretend like he wasn't drunk. But I had, like, no fun at that party. Because literally nobody would dance. And I felt like I was the only person dancing. And back then I wasn't into, like, drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Not to say I am now. But I really wasn't into that back then. So I didn't, you know. Everybody else was turned up. And I couldn't get turned. And then my friends left. And I was just by myself. I was like, I'm ready to go. Okay. So yeah, prom was great. It was fine. And then it gets time around to be my birthday. So, um, yeah, so before the whole birthday incident, like, he was getting more frustrated with me because I didn't want to, like, you know, do sexual things with him. And, um, the reason why, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I wanted to be celibate at the time. That's what I told him. And he didn't like that because, you know, obviously through the four years of high school, he was trying to talk to me and get with me. So, um, I guess his friends were clowning him because I wasn't giving in for all that time or whatever. So, you know, you know how boys and their ego is. So yeah, he was getting frustrated. So when I said that, that caused a lot of problems and tensions between us. And he was just like, well, what do you want me to do? Cause if I was to cheat on you, then you'd be mad. I'm like, you're damn right I'd be mad. So you better figure it out. Okay, that's what they got Pornhub for X videos. Like I can send you a link to some of my, so to some of the videos I like, you know, if you need help. <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm such a bad person. <laughs> It gets time to be my birthday. And um, so he, I'll say this. Like, he did something really sweet for my birthday. He got me these really nice gifts. And um, he came over to my house. And him and my, my best friend and my family, we just had, like, a small little party. Because it was my 18th birthday. Like, it was, like, I mean, it is something pretty big. But I just didn't feel like going all out. Like, it wasn't that serious to me. So he just came over to my house. And we all watched movies and ate dinner together and talked and stuff. It was nice. And so for the gift, the three gifts he got me, he got me a thirty dollars um, Macy's gift card, a ticket to see um, Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, who else was it? I can't even remember who else it was on there. Who was headlining it? But it was like that type, that like that type of rappers. Lil Uzi Vert. Um, what is the other man's name? I forgot. And he just wrote me this really beautiful card, and I was just like. Oh, and I was just like, wow, I feel really loved because nobody ever went that far to get me such a nice gift and thoughtful gift. And obviously he spent a lot of money on it. So I was really thankful for that. You know, shout out to you, party, because that was a nice gift. But <laughs> we'll get to how it all went to shit. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we go back to school. Everything's cool and everything like that. But um, again, we start to fight because of the... Um, little situation with me not wanting to you know do sexual things with him so around this time our school is really lax so when it gets to the end of the school year especially for the seniors you really can just do whatever you want like people don't be in class skipping class all the time none of the teachers care you know just be in the hallway chilling and especially when they got time for school to let out so um the school is very cliquish, I'm not going to lie. So I was kind of like with my clique and he was with his clique. But to be honest, that's the thing that about this situation that it really boggled me. It was like he was um, hanging out with these people and talking to these people that really don't even like him or give a crap about him. But yet he's throwing me under the bus to these people. So me and my friends were outside sitting on a bench and him and his friends we're sitting inside of a class, not a classroom, but a hallway. But the way that the school set up, the hallway, um, 
doors are clear so you can see through their windows so you can see like who's in there or whatever right and um one of my friends victoria shout out to her okay she comes to, up to me she's like kayla guess who is in the hallway talking mad crap about you she didn't say it like that but <laughs> but um yeah and i'm just like who because mind you all at this school like i had friends but i wouldn't say i was super popular people knew me because i was like one of the only black girls but everybody at the school acted like they were so afraid of me sometimes and i'm just like i have nothing to be afraid of i don't fight like i don't scream and yell but i just wasn't a pushover and i have a strong personality so i guess that was intimidating and you know i'm black i guess so and you know popping and cute so i guess that's what it was the hell so I didn't understand who could be talking crap about me because I don't have beef with anybody for one and for two people be acting like they're so afraid of me so why would they be talking crap because if you are obviously I'm gonna check you you know I'm not gonna let you just sit there and talk crap about me right so I'm just like who could it be and it's party I'm just like so party's talking crap really so of course um he was like she tells me that um he heard her he heard them telling them about you know our situation and that you know he feels like i'm not doing something i don't know like he just doesn't feel what i'm do like giving to the relationship and that um and that um he wants to like I feel like I've like skipped a whole part. I'm sorry. Okay, before all of this even happened, we were on the train together and we broke up. Okay, we broke up, and I can't even tell you like why I said I want um why we broke up. But he decided he wanted to break up with me because I guess because of the whole like we're not having sex thing, and um I started crying and he's probably gonna be tears and be like really wow, but like I started crying and he was just like. Later on, he texted me talking about, you know, I see that you were crying and I feel bad because I feel like I broke your heart or something. And I'm just like, boy, I'm crying because I was mad I didn't do it first, okay? Like, don't get it twisted, all right? So that is why um, the ticket that he bought me for my birthday to go see Lil Uzi Vert, um, I decided that I was going to give it back to him at first. But then I texted him and I told him that I changed my mind and I wanted to keep it because I wanted to go. Or I was thinking I was going to like sell it or something, which I have every right to do because you got it for me as a birthday gift. Like it's mine now, you know, it's not like I borrowed it from you or some crap like that. I have every right to decide I want to keep it, right? So, um, so yeah, and then when we get to school, there, it was the situation where he was talking crap about me to these people who don't even like him, right? So, of course, I'm going to like <laughs> have to check the situation and I wouldn't say I got super heated until shit started to pop off but i was already kind of like okay no this is not right you're not gonna sit here and talk to people that one you know i don't mess with and two they don't even mess with you like it's none of their business for one and um what victoria told me that some of the people were saying was ridiculous because it would be the same people that would have no balls to say it to me say it to, to say it to me to my face or oops or they act like they're so nice and that they are so nice to me and blah, 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 blah. But yet they're saying all these things about me in concurrence with him. So I was like, okay, thank you for telling me. I'm about to go check the situation right now. So I get up and I go into the hallway that they're in. And of course, everybody's sitting down. And I'm just like, okay, hi, everybody. Um, I need to talk to you. I mean, pfft. I need to talk to you party okay so we go outside and of course we start talking i'm just like so they're telling me that you're in here talking crap about me and i'm the type of person i don't start off an argument screaming but if you try to like get loud with me i'm gonna get loud with you and you're not gonna letting me finish what i have to say so i'm going to like be like no you need to be quiet and let me finish what i'm saying because i will give you that same respect so and he i guess that type of person too or he just likes to be loud and talk over people because that's what he was trying, starting to do. And, you know, I really don't care if I look crazy because I'm not going to let you disrespect me. So, literally, we're outside going back and forth yelling at each other. Like, 
you did that like that's not right you disrespected me blah 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 like why are you talking to these people for one you know i don't mess with them for two they don't even mess with you for three it's not their business and for four i have every right to keep the ticket because it's freaking my ticket that you got for me right so um <laughs> so one of his friends uh let's give him a name we gonna call him Judge Joe, okay? Because he was trying to act like a mediator. So he comes and he's just like, Oh, uh, Kayla, um, I just want to tell you to calm down a little bit because you know those kids are in there. And mind you, most of the kids in there were white or white Hispanic kids. And like I said, you know, we're some of the few black people in the school or in our grade at that. And the Judge Joe, he, he was black too. So he comes and he's like, Oh, uh, Kayla, I just want to let you know that I think you should calm down because, you know, you're kind of embarrassing yourself. And, you know, they're in there laughing and videotaping. And blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, Judge Joe. I don't care okay I was like I don't care and he's like I know you don't care I'm just like okay so then why are you talking to me I don't care so after he said that though I was just like okay no these people are mad disrespectful for one and this is not about to pop off this is not about to happen so once I got done yelling at Barney's self I go inside the hall that all these people are sitting in and I wish I could remember, like, I remember who are there, and I don't know if I should say their real names or not. But honestly, I think I'm going to, because honestly, I don't give a crap. Y'all was disrespectful as heck for that. So I'm going to disrespect you on the internet, okay? It was this girl, I'm not going to say their last names, but it was this girl. I remember off top of my head yeah so I walk up in there and of course <laughs> yet they're they were laughing at me and videotaping and thinking this shit was funny right but when I tell y'all when I walked up in that hallway they all look like they seen a ghost I was so dead I'm just like y'all some punks man like keep the same energy okay when I leave you want to keep doing this but then when I come around you don't want to post up so how I how about you just say it to my face the things you've been saying about me? So, of course, I start going off. And I wasn't yelling. I was not yelling. I'm just like, look, I don't know if you guys think this is funny or not, but it's not. It's disrespectful, for one, for you all to be videotaping. And for two, for you to be sitting here letting him disrespect me to you and you don't even know the situation, for one. And then, um, apparently, after I left, some, um, the boy, loose the boy, one of the little skinny white boys, he was telling, um, telling him that, he would smack me that like the from the way I was talking to her, and that the girl bitch I do not like <laughs> was saying like oh she would do this and that to me I'm just like girl all right and I'm sorry that I'm cussing but like reliving this I was so upset like I was just more mad at the fakeness and the audacity of some of these people it's like you don't even know the situation from one you don't know me I have never disrespected any of you in this way so for y'all to be doing that to me is ridiculous and on top of that when we're in class together y'all are singing a totally different tone right and which is why a lot of the reasons why I didn't like that school because the people there are just very fake very very fake even towards their own friends okay but that's neither here nor there so of course they're looking at me like they seen the ghost nobody's saying nothing you know it's crickets but of course it's this one girl this one girl who thinks she knows what the heck she's talking about now this girl i never had issues with her before but i will not say that she is somebody that i was like oh i want to be friends with her because one she's like she was real disrespectful to teachers for two she was disrespectful to um black people in general um she was type one of those type of girls that thinks just because a black boy likes her she's like all that in a bag of sheets i'm just like honey <laughs> calm down okay like one of those girls who are non-black and wants to say the n-word all the time uh what else does she do yeah just mad disrespectful and just like had no cooth she thinks she all that but she really ain't you know type of thing and um she was kind of like a fibber that same party i was talking about that was a flop she was the one that planned that party and she was saying all kinds of stuff was gonna happen and it didn't happen so <laughs> so yeah she decides to pipe up 
and she wants to go ahead and tell me that well you're kind of embarrassing yourself you're making your uh, your relationship look like a joke <laughs> i'm making my relationship look like a joke honey first off there is no real relationship for one okay i was doing this boy a favor let's just get that out the way okay and then two i'm just like i'm i'm making myself look like a joke so when she said that, like, I really got triggered because I'm just like, you're not going to sit here and tell me that I look like a joke, okay? Like, who who, who raised you? <laughs> and so at that point, like, something in me just clicked. Like, I was already mad because of the disrespect from the other, um, other kids. But when she said that, something just clicked in me. And she's a lot shorter than me, so I feel like if I was to fight her, people would say it was unfair. But size-wise, we're, like, the same size as far as, like, you know, thickness, right? And then, um, yeah, so I turned to her, and when I tell y'all, like, <laughs> okay, let me give y'all, like, a scope of where I was in this girl's face. Like, listen, listen, the biggest joke in the school is not about to sit here and tell me that I'm a joke, right? I was in her face. But um, one of my really good friends, who's also like one of the people that I hung out with all the time, um, Carmen and Cornelius, he was also friends with that girl. So he was just like, Kayla, calm down, calm down. But he also knew that she was wrong. And it, for one, it was none of her business. For two, what she was saying made no type of sense. And um, I'm sure he didn't want me to get in trouble for fighting because the school we went to, if you would fight, you would get expelled. And I wasn't going to fight her either. But when I was in her face, she was like, I don't even know what else she said, but I really felt like I wanted to slap her. Like, I really wanted to. When I tell y'all, like, everything in me was just like, SMACK THAT BITCH! <laughs> like, <laughs> and like I told y'all, I've never been in a fight before. I'm not even gonna front like I can fight. I don't even know if I can because like I said, I've never been in a fight before. But that rage I felt, like I could understand when people talk about like when people just disrespect you so much like it's just bubbles inside you you just want to like yeah, yeah, yeah. like you just want to smack a hoe okay and that's how i felt i was just like oh you are so lucky corn is here to save you okay because <laughs> and i was just like don't even start but do y'all know like after a situation happens and you just think about all the things you want to say like if porn wasn't there i really would have went in on her because at that point i wasn't even worried about party i was worried about the disrespect from these students like i was like y'all are bold so bold so so bold and then after that when he was like telling me to calm down i was like you lucky <laughs> okay and i just left and then after that i was fine because honestly i don't stay super mad about things for long like i can have an argument with you and i'll be calm like you know a few minutes later obviously i'm gonna still you know keep it in the back of my head that you was doing me wrong but you know so <laughs> moving forward with the whole um ticket concert situation so um what he was talking about to the other people was that um, he thinks that they were giving him suggestions to what to do to get back at me for wanting to keep the ticket And they were telling him that he could go and like repurchase the ticket and like get a refund for that one So even though I would still have the ticket in possession Let's say I do go to the concert that I wouldn't be able to get let in and I was just like I don't think it's that serious for one and for two that's so disrespectful like I didn't do anything to you other than say I don't want to have sex <laughs> like <laughs> What? <laughs> Granted, I did play him all those four years, but that was stupid. Like, you can't give me a gift and then get mad if I want to keep my gift. Like, what? <laughs> so later on, I didn't think he was actually going to do it, right? And I was trying to sell it um, for the longest time, but nobody wanted to buy it because it was just one ticket. And, like, who's going to go to a concert by themselves? And that's why I wasn't going to go because I'm not about to go to the concert by myself. And at the time, I wasn't into Lil Uzi Vert or nothing. I mean, I'm still not, but I really, really wasn't into that type of music. So I was just like, man, I'm trying to sell this. So I had a friend, um, Tarajane. Hey, girl. Yay. Shout outs to you as well. You know, I'm shouting out everybody today, okay? And I was talking to her about the situation. And one of the people that were, um, oh, I remember who it was now. It was YFN Lucci, okay? So he was also in the, con um, in the concert. And she really liked him. So she was like, oh, girl, I'll, I'll take the ticket, you know, because I really just want to see YFN Lucci. So I was like, okay, I'll give you the ticket. 
So I was like, but just be sh like, beware because I don't know if he's actually gonna do mess with it or not. So you know, just be careful. Like if you do go, be prepared to might get kicked out. So I gave her the ticket, and of course she went. And tell me why this boy actually did it, and she got kicked out. I was like, wow. Yo, I was like, this boy is ridiculous. I was so mad just because I was like, how petty can you be? Like, I was like, I want to call your mom and tell her what you did. Because I did know his mom. Like, I didn't know her like that, but we did meet before and things of the sort. And I mean, I think she liked me. So I was like, I'm going to call your mom because what kind of food? Like, I'm sure she would not approve of you doing things like that. Like, what? You can't give somebody a gift and then get mad when they want to keep it and then mess with the ticket let's say i had gone like oh my gosh i would have had to come and fight him the next day at school like <laughs> anyway that was pretty much the story you guys and um after that obviously we didn't talk anymore because <laughs> that was like the last straw but um yeah there's no hard feelings at this point like he hit me up later like when we got to college and he was like you know um i do realize i was wrong and i was just like yes yes you were and we kind of squashed it. I mean, we're not friends or nothing at this point. But just know, I'm just telling this story for laughs, okay? No hard feelings. No hard feelings to the people at my high school either. Even though y'all some disrespectful children, okay? Oh, Jesus. I hated them kids. But anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.